porcupine quills are an amazing example of nature's inventions, turning specialized hair into a powerful defense. The quill defense is so successful, it protects 18 species of porcupine around the world. And each one of them is a little bit different. Take the North American porcupine and the African crested porcupines. Whoa, how about those quills, huh? The North American porcupine lives in the trees and is a great tree climber. His sharp claws help him climb and his tail gives him leverage. African crested porcupines spend their time on the ground and live underground in holes. They're great diggers. Let's have a look at these quills. North American porcupines have shorter quills and they're mixed in with all this fur. Now that's because they live in cold climates. They need this fur, especially in the fall and winter when it starts getting cold. African crested porcupines, they don't need a lot of hair because they live where it's warm. But I do like their long mohawk hairs. <laughs> I just gotta stay a quill's length away from them. And check out the quills up close. North American porcupine quills have tiny little barbs on them so that when they stick in your skin, ow, the barbs hold them in there. African crested porcupines don't have barbs on their quills, but they have quills that rattle on the end, sending a warning, like as if these quills themselves aren't warning enough. When a predator's around or a North American porcupine gets startled, this is what their raised quills look like. See, it exposes all the sharp quills. And then, you don't want to stick your nose in that. <laughs> Just me. The African crested porcupine and the North American porcupine. And there's one thing all porcupines have in common. Porcupines don't shoot their quills. They just are very loose, and they come out easily and stick into whatever touches them. Whoa. <laughs> it's just your food. Lunchtime. <laughs> we'll see you on the Creature Trail. <laughs>